Israel today, a ceasefire as Hamas released 24 hostages back to Israel. In exchange, Israel has released 39 Palestinian prisoners. The temporary pause in warfare also allowed some much needed humanitarian supplies to flow into Gaza. Now, despite that good news, pro-Palestinian protesters promised to disrupt shopping at malls all across the country today. One of those protests taking place at the Prime Outlet Mall in Wesley Chapel. This is a live look from the gathering from an FDOT camera in the area. Jeff Patterson is also there tonight. This started today around 3.30 with about 15 protesters out here and it has now spanned uh, down State Road 56. There are about 150 people out here voicing their opinions on Palestine uh, right now. So far, they have not blocked the streets. They're just outside of the Prime Outlet Mall. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office is also here with a large presence of deputy to make sure that these protesters don't go into the street to block the shoppers that are coming into the prime outlets. But even as this is going on today, an encouraging sign in Israel as Hamas has released 24 hostages after days of difficult negotiations. It's been 48 days since 240 people were taken hostage by Hamas during their October 7th attack. Today, 24 were released. <laughs> Tampa attorney Mark Wright just traveled to Israel and met with some of the families of the hostages. Wright says he hopes this is just the start of releases. Do I see this as, as one positive light in a terrible situation? I do. Uh, but I know that this is still going on and this is still the beginning of what's going to be a long fight for Israel to bring all of the families um, that are being held hostages home. Wright spoke with friends in Israel today about the hostage release moments before I interviewed him. They are thankful that these children and mothers are going to be released today. They're also very concerned about the Israeli soldiers, uh, which were taken hostage, as well as these girls, um, these young women from the Music Fest, who we know have been brutally attacked and raped. Wright says he believes the hostage release will not be the end of hostilities in the region. I think that this is just the beginning of Israel goal to release all of the hostages and defeat and destroy Hamas. So people have been arriving for more than two hours now, swelling the ranks here, and I've just done a head count. About 150 or more people have now arrived to voice their opinions on Palestine uh, and what they think of the war that's going on right now in Israel and the Gaza Strip. So we will continue to monitor this, but so far it's been peaceful and the street has not been blocked. Reporting in Pasco County, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.